Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to make this disclaimer real quick before we get into this. Not everything that I say is going to be politically correct, but I don't really give a damn. Um, I can't say that. What's going on, everybody? This is Chris, Small Circle. Just wanted to make this disclaimer real quick before we get started on the podcast. Not everything I say is going to be politically correct. So if I hurt your feelings or if I say something that is offensive to you, I'm sorry that you got your feelings hurt and you need to man up. I just, nope. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris at Small Circle. Just wanted to make this disclaimer real quick before we get started. Everything I say on here is not always going to be politically correct. For that, I apologize in advance. I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings or to offend anyone. With that being said, enjoy the show. All right, hey, what's going on, guys? This is uh, Chris at Small Circle. Back at it again. Sorry for the uh, the long wait. Just trying to get everybody on the same page. In a vacation, I'm going on vacation. Or they're going on vacation and stuff like that, but we're back at it. I'm very excited about this episode. I have Mr. Jess Laywell and his PIC, his lovely wife, Yvette. How you guys doing? What's up, guys? How are y'all doing? Yeah, doing all right? Yep, good absolutely. thank you yeah dude I'm, I'm, yeah dude like i'm seriously excited <laughs> about this one dude like I, i've been trying to get y'all on probably pretty much since we started or <laughs> since i started this yeah, you know since day one yeah dude yeah. for real yeah man I'm, I'm super stoked i'm excited i'm you know due to uh you know circumstances or whatever and stuff or whatever it couldn't happen but hey man we're almost there right absolutely yeah. first and foremost i want to thank god um that's where my faith comes from and I want to thank my wife for believing in me from day one, no matter what I've always done. So that's what keeps me going. Yeah, dude, that's 100 percent. Well, anyway, hey, guys that don't know them, they are owners of uh, Castle Barbell in Humble. Should be an EMC, but it is what it is. They're in Humble. So uh, uh, but they got good people over there. They got a good following. Um, they're, they're both they're both New Caney alum. Oh, you graduated 2000, 2000. both of y'all did yeah, we, okay all right yeah. so y'all graduated with tanya yeah okay yeah. right on so uh i know you were your mom's emc og like <laughs> you know i remember her from when we went to the same church yeah and all that and everything like that whatever just i think my parents came around 92 i was in like fifth grade man yeah so. yeah we moved from Houston until over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. It was it was getting bad, like typical it was getting bad at, yeah. there or whatever. So you kind of moved out to the yeah, country a little bit. We actually got robbed at gunpoint, me and my brother. Damn. Yeah. So my dad was like, Man, we gotta do something. Yeah. And then my grandma lived out here. So they uh she's like moved to New Caney. So then my parents just found a little piece of land and we put a mobile home on it. You know what I mean? Cleared yeah. it off and all that stuff and then moved over here. We've been over here ever since for yeah. the most part. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. So, uh, so how I guess y'all met high middle school? school, middle school, middle school. Yeah, yeah. So hey. when, so when did y'all start? Like, I guess got together, like officially. I guess. Uh, <laughs> we messed around in high school. Yeah, you know what I mean. Talked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, talked or whatever. And then uh, we actually didn't get back together until we were like 24, 25. It was December of two thousand six. I had just started working on the boat. I'd been on the boat like ten months. Yeah, and then uh. Yeah, it was when the whole MySpace thing was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she you had your MySpace page killing, bro. Oh, you man. click on it, dude. You got the, the music going yeah. and all that, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. top friends real bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she. You I don't found know. me, I think. Or she she me. says that I messaged her first. Yeah. She said something <laughs> like "cute picture." I'm like, no, yours is a cute picture. Dave's a lucky man. Whatever. <laughs> And uh, she's oh, like, that was I, back then, yeah. I'm not yeah. With Dave anymore, and I was like, boom, I got that's what's up. It's a chance for me to, uh, you know, time to pound still pump, yeah. So I said in the DMs, like, hey, let's go to a concert, <laughs> <laughs> and that's, it's been all over since then, dude. It's I like, was about to say, yeah, you guys yeah, have been de- December we'll, we'll, 2006, yeah, we've been going strong since then. So that's like awesome, 16 man. 16 years almost, that's yeah, good there's stuff. Still a connection, still feeling yeah. right on, man. That's good. So that's another thing, like the testimony and my faith in God, because I had talked, it was me and Marshall. Don't get me wrong. We were, you know, we we're still acting up. We we're getting drunk back then being stupid. I told Marshall, I was like, if the good Lord gave me one more chance with a bed, I'd take care of it for the rest of my life. Yeah. And three weeks later, all this happens. And I'm like, Holy crap, dude. 
There it is, dude. He's hey, gonna take care of I was about to say, yeah. The yeah. Lord works in mysterious ways, yeah. man. Uh, you keep a promise, that's for sure. Damn right. Dude, man, you guys are probably the yeah. hardest working couple I've uh, I've seen, dude. You know what I mean? Like with it's either one either one of you guys are up are up at the gym like the whole time. The, yeah. You know, the entire time. You know what I mean? Well, I know you uh it's crazy, dude. Your life just in the, the time that I've known you in a couple years or whatever. I mean, I've known you forever, but when we started, you know what I mean, communicating or whatever, it's been going like this oh, a yes. little bit. You know what I mean? Like you you were working on the boats, right? You don't do the, the castle barbell full time. No, I don't. I still I'm still a nautical tugboat captain. So yeah, whenever four years ago, like we haven't had very many off days, you know what I mean? Right. And since we started our first gym in 2018. Well, I worked a full year straight. Yeah. Like I was either on the boat or we were at the gym right. trying to make it better, cleaning and all that, just, you know, trying to trying to get it better. And then when we separated from that, I had a little bit of time off. You know what I mean? So I took probably about seven weeks off just to chill, wind down, because I've been on the boats for so long, making trips and doing all that. But, I mean, we got to keep going, man. My mom and dad were there. Her mom is like, the epitome of hard work. She's so yeah. Her mom. Her, her mom was like the solid. hardest worker I've ever met, dude. dude yeah. yeah. At seventy eight years old, she makes me feel bad sometimes. <laughs> For real, dude, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, I like that. I mean, if people look at me and say, "Hey, he's a hard worker," I can respect it. That's what I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm because I respect that. Yeah. You know? Not right. That's what you respect for but sure. Yeah. Since we've opened the gym, she's been there. Like she's lost forty five pounds, dude. Like just being at the gym, it's, it's a lot. 40. 40, 45, whatever. To be a but it's a lot. But <laughs> yeah, she's right. been busy as heck. She's doing it. She's up there in the heat. We're a warehouse gym, so we don't have any AC. Whatever the element of that day is, we're probably about five to 10 degrees cooler inside the gym. Yeah. But she's there. When it's 105, it's 100 in there, and she's still pounding it out every day. Right on. You know what I mean? I use three shirts and two shorts while I'm just hanging out there talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, yeah. Like, it's hot. And you're not even working out, yeah, right? I'm not even working out. Yeah. I'm just chilling. Yeah. But uh, People okay. are probably tired of seeing me every day. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. Not day, I think, every day. No, man. That, that's, I think that's cool. I think it's important, you know what I mean, to see the owner there. You know what I mean, and you know, I'm like, look, I'm I'm here with you, absolutely. You know, whether yes. yeah, what, you meet, know what it is, meeting you, everybody, you know, getting there, getting to know everybody. And... It gives it that like small town family feel, yeah, pretty much. You know, and I've been in there a few times, and um, and I I'm I feel like family almost. You know what I mean? Like absolutely. when I walk in or whatever, you know, I'm greeted, and then like not only that, but like I got people that are like pass in passing. And I don't even know them. And they're like, oh, hey, what's going on, man? You know what I mean? Like, like you know, like we're best friends or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It's cool, though. It's it, it's, a, it's a cool element. It's not like, because I've been in other gyms like that, right? And then you have your typical, you know, douchebags and stuff. You know what I mean? That like, look, dude, I'm here to lift. I'm, You know what I mean? You know, what do you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get out of my way, all that stuff like that. And it's it, the element's not like that there. No, I mean, it's, it's cool. a good it's a good community and culture. I mean, and plus, if you come to a warehouse gym, you're there, you want to get results, you're, you know, and then there are some more people who are, are new at it. Yeah. But they don't like the commercial gym feel. Right. I mean, one of the reasons that keeps me doing what I do and making people feel the way they, when they walk through the door, I want them to feel good. I want them to feel welcome. Because when I was, when I started exercising in like the end of 2014, I was a fat, overweight tugboat captain. And I went into fitness connection, dude. And everybody looked at me like crazy. Oh, look at this New Year's resolution guy. He right. Been for two months. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. And then I just started working. I couldn't get help for nothing. I pulled my back three times learning how to deadlift because nobody would teach nobody me. Was so it, I started right. watching YouTube and I fell in love with deadlifting. So that's like my bread and butter. I love that so much. But like I told when we started our other gym, I said, nobody's going to, I'm not going to let nobody feel that way. Yeah. You know, like when you walk in here, you got some information or you need some information. Come grab me. Come holler at me. I'll teach you whatever I can do while I'm there. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to feel at home. I don't want you to feel like, oh, walk around on eggshells. Like, no, yeah, come man. in here. Yeah. Let's get let's right. get this work. We're all just trying to be better than we were yesterday. Yeah. And we're trying to achieve something we ain't achieved before. That's, so some of these people act like they were born like deadlifting. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, man, it's and it's like with anything. You know what I mean? It's like 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 look, bro, like we all we all 
were where the person starting out was at one time. Oh, you know absolutely. what I mean? Like we didn't, at, you know, we didn't know we didn't know all this crap. You know, so and that's how a lot of the people at the gym are. They're very helpful and friendly. And, yeah, yeah, you know, I felt that, yeah. Like I said, I felt that for sure. You know, so, uh, see, uh, all right. So, so is that what? Got, so what got you into? I guess weightlifting. So I mean, I was. I've always had like a little bit of shoulder cap and yeah. I started to get so out of shape that it was just rounding over. And like one of my friends kept nagging at me, you need to work out. You need to work out. I'm like, yeah, man, whatever, whatever. And then my son, you know, kids are like blunt and honest yeah. because they don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm chilling there and my son slaps me in the belly and he's like, dad, you're fat. I'm like, damn, dude, <laughs> I got to do something. Right. I don't want my son looking at me like, dang, you're fat. No, I want my son to look at me like, damn, you're a savage, dude. Right, like, yeah. You're a freaking monster. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I got to start working out. So, and then like I was telling you about sustainability, I don't just, I change little things that I can sustain for a long period of time. Right. So all I did was I didn't change my diet or nothing. I just started eating right. Right. I lost 16, 18 pounds. So once I did that, I was working out all the time. I had made that a habit. So then I just changed some eating and I lost even more weight. But I lost 55 total pounds and got down to 173. But I was like, I even had a six pack at like, what, 38? Probably 38 years old, 37 years old. I had a six pack, but I was weak. I was like, no, nah, this ain't. That's right. where I kind of, you know, started eating some more, wanted to be stronger. And then whenever we opened, I started powerlifting and getting into that before we opened our first gym. And uh, with the with that gym, my partner was like, they were in the bodybuilding. So that's why we had a lot of machines and stuff. But the powerlifting side was my idea on that. But, uh, and it, it took off. It's been a big powerlifting is growing. It's just, it's the community, man. Right. Like I went to a meet, I'm like, holy crap, everybody's yelling for this dude. They don't even know him. Like, and you're up there, like taking your one rep max and, you know, just underneath the heavy weight. And I just like it. It builds mental fortitude. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's, that's, I just wanted to be a little bit more healthy, man. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. That, that's a wake up call for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's awesome, man. That's cool, dude. But, uh, so you have not, not only do you have the castle barbell, right? You guys got the gym, but you guys, you, this isn't your only hustle either. They say, you know, you do the tugboat stuff, you know what I mean? Whatever. And then not only that, but like you do, uh, I know I've bought a few things that you, uh, yeah, that you do. I got, so I like my whole thing too, is like preparedness. That's why Castle Barbell ain't only powerlifting. It ain't only bodybuilding. It's general physical preparedness. Right. So at any given day, you need to be ready to protect your fam your family and all that. So in the one thing that's going to help that is in you're in the best physical shape that you can get. Right. But, you know, staying ready. I do have, I collabed with a local knife maker, you know, and we did some of that, which I haven't put anything out yet because we're just in, a, you know, trying to get this snowball effect with the gym, get that up and going. Yeah. And then we're going to venture off and do some, some other stuff. You know, we got some ideas and whatnot, but, uh, you know, the clothes have always been a pretty passionate thing for me yeah like just making different drip and you know hats shirts shorts you know what i mean Bless you. and uh, i'm really passionate about that but and then we got we got my buddy who does the hot sauce in there so that ain't none of me that's all my my homie with the wyatt's hot sauce and it's freaking yeah. awesome you know what i mean he makes it all homemade that's cool that you let them like set up right there too. Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah, he, those good people over there. Yeah, you know, and I believe in. I've been eating the hot sauce since my first gym. You yeah, know I mean, I put it on everything. I take. I got bottles with me on the boat. You know, I'm not just supporting it because I'm like, oh, let me support it. No, it's awesome hot sauce. You know, <laughs> but because right uh, I eat so much of it. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, we're trying to do stuff a little different this time and give our customers everything they need to be successful and it's like a day. like a like a one-stop shop yeah. almost right yeah you guys got like uh i seen that you guys do the uh we got the, the, meal, the, preps. the meal preps yeah we got the meal preps we got two different meal preps in there we got cali cooks meals and then we got plated houston uh texas meals uh they're both good dudes you know so mm -hmm. like that's why i'm trying to tell my members oh you're gonna leave here and go get water burger that's 15 dollars you can get you a really healthy meal right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's one thing that's been pretty cool 
because I mean it does and it's been they, successful. It's been it's pretty been, good. We're yeah. selling like probably 30, 30 meals out of the gym a week come from them guys, which is we're trying to get I'm trying to boost it up to like I want them when they drop off meals that they never have to pick any up. Sure, yeah, yeah. And that would be like 40 to 45 meals a week. That's you know what I mean? Up. Yeah. So they come out, drop it off, and we got refrigerators in there for them. And then, uh, you know, we got the energy drinks. We got protein snacks. All that for if you come and you're like, you forgot something, we got you. Yeah. And what another thing cool about Castle Barbell, dude, is uh, my wife thinks about all these cool things. So at our first gym, we would have like Jolly Ranchers out there. Yeah. So whenever you, you know, get that little sugar spike. Yeah. I mean, right. Yeah. That sugar spike. You know what I mean? Well, at Castle, we've had Starburst and stuff like that. But we just <laughs> did like in the powerlifting community, the Sour Patch Kids are like a hit. Yeah. So we just got like Sour Patch Kids and whatnot. So we put those out there, and people love that damn stuff, dude. Like, it's just cool to be able to sign me up, people, man. You know, sign me up. I love I love Sour Patch. <laughs> I'll just well, I'll pay I'll, I'll pay the money a month just to come in there and get Sour Patch. So kids, we keep dude. those out there, and then uh, another thing too is because it's been so hot. But that's like, let's get some electrolyte popsicles for the gym. Yeah, I seen those. I so, seen those too. Yeah, you're sweating your butt it's, off. That's a hit, dude. Like it's. It's yeah. a jam to be able to grab that. And we offer that free. Yeah. We don't charge you for that. Right. And it's, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a, it's a pretty penny to keep that. It's an many. expense. I'm sure when you're, when you're going, getting close to 400 and 500 members, bro. Like, but we also have people who donate to the, the, yeah, they the freezer pop. Phone, ask, you, you know, know can I mean? like, we hey, help. <laughs> yeah. Let me right. charge you money for the freezer pop. You know yeah. I mean? Sure. So, yeah. We've had cases donated and so yeah. it's been, that's cool. Yeah. It, it's dope because people love it. Like this one guy told me a story the other day. He's like, Hey man, I had like three friends. They're like, let's go over here. And he's like, Hey bro. They're like, what? He's like, let's go to castle. He's like, man. And then he goes, they got popsicles. They're like, bet. Let's go to castle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, still the deal. We got to keep the popsicles. Yeah. Right on, They've man. been a hit, dude. Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. Cool. I see them on, uh, on, uh, Instagram. Social media, yeah. Man, dude, like that's another thing. Like not only do you post and you post, bro, like you have this huge following, man. Like I'm constantly seeing like Castle Barbell, Castle Barbell, you know what I mean? It's all over my feed, you know what I mean? From either yeah. you sharing someone's post or something, whatever in the morning, getting it, you know, and all this, I mean, like that, man. Yeah, it's really another, cool. That's another thing too, like Castle Barbell, like from the out. I say Castle Barbell has some of the most baddest and innovative equipment around. Yeah. And within 30 miles, 40 miles, you know, I got, I got a couple pieces that nobody has, you know, but, uh, well, just, so, just so they know how, how, uh, how many square feet you got. So we got 8660 in square feet. We have, uh, opposing area. That's like 10 by 12 with a 10 foot mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like 10 by 15. It's 10 by 15. But we just added another 45 feet of linear linear feet of mirrors by the dumbbell area and stuff like that. We have uh, two huge restrooms to where you have two stalls. You have a urinal and a restroom in the men's, and then you have a shower. And in the women's, you have the same thing, double sink to wash your hands or whatever, two stalls and a shower yeah. so we're checking all the base on that so if anybody travels they can get all their stuff they need to do at castle barbell and then go to work yeah or come afterwards sure. and then head home yeah but uh we're 24 hours we don't have a key fob or anything like that it works like tap to pay so it's really convenient you know it's yeah. on your phone you never have to worry about oh shoot i forgot my key fob right because you're not going to forget your phone very rarely Right. Um, yeah. One yeah. percent of the time, are you going to forget your phone, and then you're going to turn around and you're going to go get it? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No. Nah, yeah. Hundred percent. That's convenient. It, it's we got a way that you can sign up via social media, and then if you pull into the parking lot and you're there and you want to sign up and we're not there, we got our QR code posted on the door where you can do it and just follow the directions and the email, and then uh maybe take eight minutes you can sign up in the parking lot. You know what I mean? Wow. And then we verify, we verify your ID. And if you, uh, you know, qualify for the discounted membership that we offer, which is first responders, teachers, you got a license to carry in Texas, you got a motorcycle license, you're a veteran or anything like that. It's only 32 bucks a yeah. month. 
You know what I mean? And then for a standard membership, it's 4330. Yeah. And then if you get one of those items and right. you come back to us, we'll give you the discount. We'll change your membership. Right. You know, but and we appreciate we appreciate all those people that qualify for the discount of membership. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we appreciate that. All the first responders and all that stuff. We got we got a good bit of them. Yeah. You know? I had one question because just because I'm ignorant to the whole weightlifting, powerlifting thing and stuff like that. What I saw, I saw a post as a couple, uh, about a month, a couple weeks, month back, whatever, about the rogue plates. What's so big about the rogue plates? So, because they're they're everywhere. That's it. That, that's all you carry, right? That's I mean, it's yeah, everywhere. They're, they're all throughout the gym. Yeah. So my thing is because in powerlifting, you need to be as accurate as possible. Uh -huh. So. We invested in the rogue plates because when you grab that rogue plate, it's never going to be less than 45 pounds. Exactly. The deviation for below is zero. It's negative zero, but it's plus 2%. So at the most, it could weigh 45.9% right. or 45 pounds and nine ounces. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But all the other plates that you see around most gyms is standard barbell plates. Well, they have a plus or minus deviation six to eight percent so when you load 500 pounds on the bar with rogue plates or 495 it's going to be 495 right at least yeah but if you got grab the other plates and you're loading 495 it could be 470 right or it could be 515 because you got that plus or minus because the plus or the minus, plus or minus is bigger on the uh on the other plates as yeah. opposed to the rogue they got close tolerance yeah well it's just right. quality control right, right? yeah so Wait. I'm going to say we've had a lot of people comment saying how much heavier the weights are at the gym when they go to like <laughs> back and forth to other gyms. Like, right. Yeah. In this castle. So they're yeah. not rubber coated. It's true iron getting slung around in there. Yeah. So the road plates are beautiful too. So it's a machine cast iron. It's not just cast. Right. So that's why they can get the poundage the exactly. Gray. And yeah. it's made in USA. I mean, most of everything in our gym is made in USA. I mean, there's a couple bands and stuff like that that you know sure, i'll get right. that's that's not made in usa if i if i need something quick i'll get it just to hold me over and then we get what we want from rogue or west side barbell elite fts and it's because the bands are big like they sell out a lot in certain places so you gotta you know be able to find those and whatnot but we keep a vet's like um she keeps stuck stopped up bro she's prepped she's like <laughs> you know i got bands ready on deck i got cables ready to be replaced you know what i mean like yeah. that's one thing that i did at my other gym too if there was something that's broke i'm gonna fix it as quick as physically possible because i don't want that machine to be down it could be somebody on prep that that's the machine that they have to use and then if it's down guess what i didn't mess up their prep a little bit yeah. and i take i take maintenance and all that we take that crap serious dude like you know i'll go in there to like hey man this machine's kind of sticking bet let me go ahead and grease everything let me go ahead and look at everything you yeah. know like the other day we had the the cardio is that's what gives most gym owners a hard time it's always the cardio stuff you know what i mean it gets a lot of wear and tear where the other day just from people beating on the stairmaster two connections came undone so luckily we have two of the same ones i took the screen off of this one and looked and because that screen's $500 yeah. well, for a small business, you don't need to be spending a whole lot of money on repairs. You right. know, if you can keep up the maintenance. Sure. So I looked in that one and we fixed that one, you know, the next day it was fixed. And, uh, I just figured out where the connections went and was rolling. You so know, they've just a lot of money. Yeah. They saved 500 bucks. <laughs> Luckily, that's that's all say. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm a handy dude, so I'll, I'll do whatever I can do. I can twist the wrench. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like, and that's what that's what a lot of people respect too. They'll see her cleaning, they see me crawling on the floor fixing stuff, or you know, just the simple fact that the other day I go around with the the green paint in the gym and I'm touching up walls and like it truly makes a difference to like get the gym back to looking brand new because it is brand new. Like you seen it. Yeah. You came in there when there was just, nothing. Yeah, to, yeah. It was all it was was Jess's vision. Right, you exactly. I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, we're going to have this here and this here. And then you come back, you're like, holy moly, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, because that shit was scary, huh? Like, no, a hundred percent. I didn't have no lights or yeah. nothing. Yeah. No, it, it, at all. It, yeah. it, you, you showed me the blueprint. You just got the blueprints yeah. done. 
and you were like, this this is it, whatever. You you really can't make it out here, but look, I'm gonna have this here, this here, that here, all that, whatever. And then for it to it's it's cool to see because when I came in, whatever for the grand opening, it was what basically what you had had. And then that, that talk about some obstacles there too. Oh, dude. On the build, man. Yeah. I remember you telling me whatever is like you had to go back and forth with the permits, yeah, and all that and everything. And what's crazy is I didn't think it was gonna be it was, a, it was a whole lot of expensive when you're dealing with like permits and all that and bu our build out because we even have a full kitchenette in there, yeah. you know, for everybody that, you know, needs to heat up food, needs to store some food while they work out. We got a full kitchen. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we don't have, we have a microwave and, and stuff like that. We just don't have a stove because you don't need it. I mean, it's microwave, you know? Yeah. yeah. But uh, we got a full kitchenette in there. Like it's, it's super awesome. Like, we checked all the boxes because we knew we were going to be here for, we're three we're gonna be there for three years you yeah know what i mean so do we have plans after that absolutely but are we trying to get too big too quick no we're not right we're trying to sustain <clears throat> right now we're growing at a good rate and i really want to i really want to get the roots and the foundation of castle barbell in the community you know what i'm saying like nah, yeah because that's what it's about just making making sure everybody that they can depend on us to be there to have the best product available yeah. you know like we i'm not an arrogant guy i'm a humble dude mm -hmm. but i'll tell you when you step in castle barbo you got some of the baddest equipment around yeah and and that's the truth <laughs> yeah i spent my whole 401k i, I cashed it out and went went ham on it right yeah nah yeah that's what you told so, me it's like it kind of you just kind of went all in man yeah we went all in that's awesome dude that's great and that's then cool stuff. like to talk about a little bit of the equipment we got we got prime fitness we got strife we got rogue we got rogers. rogers pendulum we have stair masters we got free motion we have uh ivanko plates we got rogue calibrated plates for power lifting we got buddy caps texas power bars texas deadlift bars uh rogue power bars elite fta uh elite fts ss yoke bar we got kabuki strength i mean we have tons of stuff in there we have man ghost racks those racks alone are freaking phenomenal that's what a power lifter lifts in the meat so everything it doesn't matter if you're in which federation you're in yeah. if you come to castle barbell you will have the equipment you have on meet day at the gym and that's what we set out to do you right know, off we want to check all those boxes because if you train on what you're in a competition you get there and that's not a that's not a variable that can affect you right because you're training on the best quality stuff you know what i mean so and then we got road deadlift platforms with the band attachments and all that oh we got 52 feet of turf you know yeah 15 the, foot wide right. We got sleds. We got we got everything. Punch that, bag. Punching bag. You know, I'm in the process of getting approval to put my basketball goal up. Yeah. You know, out back to where people's been loving because we'll have one. We have one that rolls out. Yeah. But uh, they done rolled it out so much that the wheel broke on it. Oh yeah. So yeah. So you need to get one that like yeah I'm gonna I want to plant it in the ground where yeah. I don't have to worry about somebody taking it. You know what yeah. What I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, dude. Yeah, that shit's a hit, dude. Everybody loves the dang basketball. Goal. Like, hey, man, you gonna put the basketball goal back? I'm like, <laughs> I guess that. I had like four people last week ask me. Oh, really? Like, dang, dude, that that's, was a hit. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Uh, okay, well, you guys, you guys are, you guys are kind of hidden on Will Clayton, right? If you're not looking yeah. for it, whatever, you know, kind of see it. So, like, kind of, I know where it is. Right, yeah, but kind of let them know to where you know where, what to look for, whatever. I know you got a sign out there now. Yeah, we got a huge sign out there. It's a four by eight lit up sign. You know, with Castle Barbell on there it says Jim, like two feet. You know, twenty four hours. But we're uh we're right behind Little Caesar. So say if you're coming south on fifty nine, you take a left and heading east on Will Clayton. It's right past the park on the right hand side behind little caesars right you know and there's a donut shop it's a strip center right before you hit wilson road yeah right before you hit wilson road and it's it was a brand new building there was nobody in this yeah. building before us it was a little blank canvas and uh we designed it how we wanted and uh, we got 10 pieces of cardio numerous pieces of equipment and uh stuff that 
people's never seen before. Uh, and it's we originally yeah. weren't gonna have the whole building. Yeah, right. But we're, we're kind of glad y'all did, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. Because oh, yeah. we filled it up quick. I wouldn't even have had enough room for all the equipment that I had. Uh -uh. And that's another thing I want to talk about. Like, if you got a, a vision and a dream, don't hesitate to, like, you got to act on it. You know what I mean? Like, I was putting, I was working out in a storage unit. Yeah. And I just stacked equipment in the storage unit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's all good to have a plan and everything mapped out. But sometimes you just got to pull the trigger. Yeah. And that's what we, that's what we did. Cause she's like, just get the whole building. I'm like, I don't know if I want to get the whole building. Cause you know, you, I mean, it ain't about money for me, but the gym has to pay for itself. Sure. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So it's just a lot to float and, but we're doing it. We're making it happen. Like I said, the good Lord, I have my faith in him. He's never not taking care of me. So we went ahead and got the whole building. We said, if we're going to go big or we're going home, right you know, on. we put every penny we got in that thing. Yeah. And it's it's slowly like a snowball effect, and uh, we got some good members, man. I love them. Um, I'm not ever gonna stop trying to make them happy. You know, it ain't about what Just Laywell wants, right? Or a vet. It's about what the members want. Yeah. And there ain't gonna be another gym owner out there that listens to you like I listen to you. No, hundred percent, man. I mean, they like I said, dude, they love you. I seen old dude in Vegas, right? Is it no. like, yeah. And I passed them, and I seen the shirt. I was like, wait, hold up. And I mean, it's crazy because I was just, I was going to wear my shirt that day, too. But I was like, man, we're going to be walking out. It's hot, whatever. Let me get something a little lighter. You know what I mean? So I took it off. And then uh, I passed him. And I was like, damn. I was like, I was like, Tanya, did you see the, his shirt? And then, of course, she's, no, I didn't. I was like, okay. I was like, man, that's Castle Barbell. She's like, really? Oh, that's crazy. I was like, all right. And then by this time, dude, we're like steps ahead. Right? You know what I mean? And I was like. Man, I'm gonna go get a picture with him. So I took a turn around, dude. And then, dude, it, it this is a crazy hallway, dude. So I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, right? And then I grabbed Gino by the 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 the, the so, shoulder, and he don't know who the hell I am, dude. Yeah. So he turns around, like, dude, like he's gonna eat me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a big man. right? Yeah, because he was on a mission too. Yeah. I, I don't know where he was going or whatever. And I was like, hey, man, it was like, uh, you know, Jess, they will, you know, Castle Boy got the shirt on. He's like, yeah, man, that's where I work out and all that. And I was like, oh yeah, dude, I was like. I went to school with him and whatever yeah. stuff. I know him, whatever, you know, whatever. He's like, oh, that's awesome. I was like, man, you might have to get a picture, snack the picture and all that stuff. Yeah. And then I seen him at the grand opening and all that, whatever. And I asked him how he did because he was there for a competition. Yeah. So you got people that that's that's repping this all over, man. Really. Oh, bro, it's like a dream come true, man. Last night um, we went to a, a meet that it's our first local meet as an open gym. Yeah. And we were thick in there. There's like 12 of us. So we yeah. let them, we, we were screaming for uh, our friend. It was fun. And it they was good. We, we mobbed up in there. Everybody wore the same meat day shirt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Castle Barbell. And the dude's like, dang, man, who's Castle Barbell? You know, when we walked up. And then whenever, you know, our friend got on the platform, he's like, oh, Castle Barbell. All right. <laughs> this, this is who they're here for. So right. Yeah. Represented too, you man. Know, yeah. It's, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's a future goal is to, you know, as of when when this podcast drops, you know, it's I can talk to whatever federation I want as far as powerlifting. Yeah. You know, with just due circumstances. Sure. From the previous agreement. Yeah. And October 20th, when this podcast drops, there's no more uh, chains and I'm not bound to, bound to no one except Castle Barbell and my wife. And we're about to go ham on it. Right oh man that's it dude i can't wait man and i, I can't wait for sure as i said i've been trying to i've been trying to get you on here man i'm like hey bro man like it's cool you you don't have to talk about this when you gotta talk about that you're like nah bro just wait till october wait till october i was like all right man that's that'll work that's what's up so it's gone by quick though too yeah it has been it has gone by quick for yeah. real yeah that's i mean this thing. whole year has went by quick it's been stressful and everything like i mean and and i can't wait i want to do like a like a one year anniversary podcast oh, yeah. with you to oh, 100%. Where, yeah, dude. To where we can see and see how things are changing and what we're doing. Like, it ain't about me. Yeah. It's about the people at Castle Barbell, dude. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. Like, I, I, you know, all my stuff's mobile. So yeah. I'd, I'd really like to go in there and set up whatever and actually talk to the people Yeah, there. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Not, you know, of course, not when they're freaking in the middle of deadlifting 500 pounds or whatever <laughs> yeah. or something. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, get it. Uh, but yeah. I, 
you know, talk to a couple people and stuff. Cause like you said, it, it's about them. It's about the people, bro. Yeah. Like somebody asked me, how many power lifters do you have at Castle Barbell? And I'm like, it's not how many we have, how many are we going to create? Right. Because there's something that's addictive and about seeing somebody move heavy weight. I'm like, oh shit, man, that dude's deadlifting five plates over there. And you just want to do it. Yeah. And it don't matter if you've never done it before. Right. You know what I mean? Like a guy came in the other day. His goal is to go to a powerlifting meet. I'm like, that's the easy part, bro. Right. Just sign up and do it. Right. Yeah. You know? Right. Like you might not be the strongest then, but you know what? You just accomplished that goal. Yeah. And you got numbers to work off of, you know? But I I'm, I mean, it's 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 addicting, dude. Like, yeah. yeah that impresses me seeing these because we, like <clears throat> Evie, she's this tiny, you know, woman and she's strong. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Get out. And then we have, this other girl that's super tiny and she's lifting all this heavy weight. I'm like, I don't know, it's just impressive. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I talk about addicting. You just started lifting too, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. So he, he, uh, yeah, so he brags on you. He posts on you, whatever. On <laughs> about three days a week, she's getting, she's yeah. getting into it. I mean, it's better than nothing, though. Well, I yeah, sustainability. Yeah, dude. Like, I, 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 get it, about, yeah I get it, man. Yeah, I get it for like, sure. You don't just. It, it's fun though like yeah i like to deadlift and i'm she, she does like to deadlift. <laughs> yeah i don't know why but she's got a good squat though definitely so behind we, we've got her squat to where it looks phenomenal but she don't like squats that much and i just think that it's squatchy you, you know it's real tough and it's you gotta build up to it back. it's a lot of weight on your back yeah but she has a beautiful squat you know yeah but uh she's getting better at deadlifting and all that and uh but yeah I, i'm proud of her dude like super proud of her I mean, I'm not. I don't have plans to do any meets or anything. But I yeah, just but I mean, yeah, right, yeah. But stronger. I was talking about the, the the addicting part. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like you see somebody and you're like, man, you know, oh, let yeah. me try it. She even said, like, first time I ever heard her. I do. I chip away. It's persistence <laughs> overcomes resistance, and right. I learned that when I sold vacuum cleaners. I've been trying to get her to work out with me for years, yeah. though, since I started. Hey, you coming to the gym today? No. Hey, you coming to the gym today? No. Hey, you coming to the gym today? No. And that's been six, seven, eight years, how long I've been working out. And then now she's like, I want to be strong. Like, bet. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time to hear that. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, I'm proud of her, dude. She's lost all that weight. She's handling the gym. Like, it's, I mean, being in that heat all day, though, it takes it out of me. It's, yeah, it's unbearable. On my week off, I commend her, dude, because I'm, like, over here, like, holy crap, bro. Like, I'm sweating through a shirt sitting there, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, having to drink, like, 15 of these. Yeah. Because we, you know, sweating, but hopefully then, by next summer though, that'll be not an issue, the whole heat thing. Yeah. So and another reason why I made the whole gym non-AC, <clears throat> because if we get climate control, everybody gets climate control. Yeah. You know, most other gyms, like my other one, you had an office that was AC and everybody else was in the in the heat outside, which I do miss it sometimes, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I almost damn fainted one day i was like holy crap i'm gonna drink some water and freaking eat some food dude it was hot it's hot in there but yeah. it's not as hot as other gyms like we do not have, yeah because i was about to say you got you got air moving in there yeah we got like 11 fans and we got a five foot fan in there but also our building because it's one of the it was just finished in like june of 2021 not my building i leased the building but it has some of the better like insulations mm -hmm. and all that. It's rated better to keep the heat out. It's not 30 years old. Yeah, it's not right. 30 years old yeah. or whatever. And uh, it has the reflective uh, foil insulation. On, I don't know what it's called. You know what I yeah. mean? But the reflective barrier on the top and then on each side, it's brick and partial brick in the front. Yeah. So that kind of keeps out of a lot of the heat. That's why we stay probably 10 or 12 degrees cooler than most warehouse gyms. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then there's at every angle in the gym, there's probably only two spots in the gym where you don't get as much uh, airflow. You know what I mean? But you got to know where those are at. You yeah. Know? But uh, right on. for the most part, it's it's good, man. Like seeing everybody enjoy it and love it, you know, like just for customer reviews we get. And uh, people like this one girl, she come up to me and she's like, I never thought I would find another gym like her other gym. And she's like, she loves Castle Barbell like more than her other gym. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like that gives me satisfaction. Okay. Like, especially if you're off one day, you know what I mean? You're like, shit, dude, I'm tired and all this. Then you get a good story from somebody and you're like, oh shit, gas tank's full now. Yeah. You know, it's time to keep going. Yeah. You know, like regardless of how tired we are, just lay well and giving up. Right on. 
if I'm down and out, I'm crawling forward, baby. Well, that's one that you know, and that's getting back to my the uh when I said that your your life's kind of been yep. like this. You know what I mean? It's like it's just and you never gave up. I mean, here you are. You know what I mean? How many members do y'all have? We're knocking on four hundred in yeah? five months. Yeah. Man, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yep. That's cool. Cause and we and that's with no advertising, bro. Right. Like as Word of, of October twentieth, when this podcast drops, I can advertise. Yeah. You know, and this is get is with no advertising. It's yeah. just word of mouth from people. You know, I haven't placed an ad and paid for an ad to 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 advertise anywhere. But now I can. Now I can advertise in Splendora, New Caney, yeah, Porter, where you North where Park, you should be, where you Kingwood. should be set up anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Man. Nah. But yeah. Um, People must be intimidated and scared for to keep you from uh, doing stuff like that. Well, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It is what it is. Uh, all right, man. So, any advice on uh, a person that's saying that they want they want to start a gym or they want to start powerlifting? You know, we'll, we'll touch on the we'll touch on the business thing first. Okay. Like, one thing that you know, with the whole situation, that's where my logo comes from too. Is just like paying attention, not being complacent thinking ahead, watching signals, you know, like playing chess, it's not checkers, pay attention. And if it's, I don't care what this is for. It ain't just gym. It's for any business that you want to go into with a partner, make sure while you both have the same goals, y'all have an operating agreement. I don't give a damn if it's your friend for 26 years, you sign an operating agreement or you don't do it or you find a way to do it your damn self. But you do not take a man's handshake even if you've known them 26 years, you get an operating agreement and you get a lawyer like it written in terms and things. So you can't do this. I can't do that. It's 60, 40. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get the terms down there to where it's clear why you have the same goals because goals will change. And if some goals can change, they can be the same or somebody can change and be like, Oh, I want to do this. I'm going to go get another investor and do this. Right. Or I'm going to go over here and do this. Yeah. You know, just make sure you have your T's crossed and your I's dotted as far as partner. But as far as powerlifting, it's really easy. Yeah. You might not be the strongest or hell, you never know. You might be. <laughs> Just pull the trigger and do it. Yeah. Just whatever goal that is, whether it's powerlifting, bodybuilding, general physical pr preparedness, playing, whatever. That's why I just try to tell my son every day. Every day you get up, you tell you, you tell yourself you're the best at whatever you're doing, even if you're not. Right. Tell you that you're the best. And one thing, I ain't afraid to change. And I hope, you know, people go look at me and say, hell yeah, he, he changed. He did what he had to do. But one thing, uh, shoot, I got off track. But, uh, <laughs> it's all good. Don't, don't be afraid to, to put that foot forward and <clears throat> take that leap because it's going to be scary. But if it's worth doing, it's going to be scary. And if you hover in your comfort zone, you're not going to be much. You know what I'm saying? Like, and life is going to test you just like it was whenever I was a deckhand trying to be a tankerman, trying to be a pilot. I had my wheelman's license, my captain's license, and I was out on deck, tying barges off, doing all that because I feel like the universe tests you. If you're about to level up in any way, it's going to test your character. How much do you want to sacrifice? How much do you want to, how much do you want this? Are you going to break? What kind of character do you have? Yeah. I could have been like, oh, I'm a captain now. I got my, my pilot's license. I ain't taking these barges. No, I need to do that because what if I would have did that? He's like, this dude shouldn't be a pilot. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. The universe is going to test you. And even just like in business or whatever, you're going out there. Is it going to be hard? Absolutely. Is it going to be scary? Absolutely. But don't ever stop thinking positive. Yeah. Your thoughts in your mind, negative should never outweigh the positive yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. you should never focus on negative more than positive because you're not going to get the results you want right you know what i mean mm -hmm. and like whether you got to meditate whether you got to write it down whether you got to look at it in the mirror and manifest it create a plan create action do it you yeah. got to do it and i'm not just saying that i'm just trying to sound cool on a podcast <laughs> this is what i do on my way to work this is what yeah. i do when i look in the mirror yeah. like i'm this is my mentality I ain't stopping. Like Fair you enough. can beat Jess down, but Jess is gonna <laughs> he's gonna be 
he's going to be, he's going to be there. He ain't going, he's headstrong. He ain't stopping. Right. Which, you know I mean, I mean? which, I mean, you've proved that time and time again. I mean, just in these past couple of years, to be honest yeah. with you. So that's awesome, man. That's good stuff, dude. Well, I wish you guys all the best, man. Uh, what you guys got future goals for, for castle, man, we do. I don't, I got to kind of keep some under wraps. Nah, hundred you know percent. I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Cause, uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, the long term goal, yeah, not a short term goal, because I want to implant my roots into the into the ground and have a really stable base. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna build the baddest powerlifting gym, bodybuilding gym, general physical preparedness gym. We're gonna z- exist in all spaces. Whenever you see Castle Barbell or you see something in fitness or whatever, we're gonna be there. Yeah, and it's gonna be the community. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna be like, oh shit, Castle Barbell. And it ain't even about me. I don't want, whenever you think about Castle Barbell, I don't want you to think about me right. or her. Yeah. Think about like, oh man, there's a bunch of good people over there. Yeah. Those people are, those members are badass. That's what I want you to think. Right. I'm just, I'm just the janitor. You know what I mean? I, fix <laughs> stuff and I clean stuff. Yeah. And yeah. I just try to keep everything up for the, for the people. Right. On. Because a lot of, I was telling about this the other day, I was going to make a post, but, uh, so a lot of gems are like, oh, you're, you're loyal to me. The members are loyal to the gym. And I think that's backwards, right? Because the owners of the gym and the gym should be loyal to the members. Yeah. The members are what make that gym successful. Yeah. And if I walk around like, oh, oh I'm the best. Oh, I'm the best. No, that ain't, that ain't good. You know what I mean? Like, that's why Castle Barbell is for the members, dude. Like, yeah. you need something, you want something, let me know. When time and money is right we get it uh-huh. you know i got a list you know that we're chipping away at that mm-hmm. members want yeah but right now other than i mean we're we're checking the boxes you know like do do i want to move fast oh yeah everybody wants to move fast sure. well, i want a thousand members tomorrow yeah but guess what I don't, I don't think that's good i think that's immediate gratification yeah you know what i mean i can take delayed gratification i can sacrifice I'm okay with sacrifice. We did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It ain't money that fuels me. Yeah. You right. Know? Yeah. I have a decent job. Mm-hmm. It's having the best facility in Houston, in Texas. That's what you're trying to achieve. That's, That's what, what I'm trying to achieve. Right yeah. Whenever you think of powerlifting, I want to be like top five gyms in Texas or top three. Yeah. Or eventually the powerlifting gym. Yeah. Would have, uh, I guess I do a top three, right? So what are your top three powerlifting gyms right now? I mean, the ones Besides that, Castle. So <laughs> the ones that like, so it's all about the old school powerlifting, like the mentality of like what I started watching and yeah. like you really get into powerlifting, like, oh shit, this is a mind frame, dude. Like you really got to be like to get underneath that heavy weight and keep doing it week after week like west side barbell and louis simmons and all that conjugate and i would watch them and like this old man has so much passion bro like yeah he's a freaking savage like he was squatting like 650 at like 62 yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. he's a savage and then you got elite fts but there's a lot of badass people out there you know that i follow as far as powerlifting that you wouldn't be a you'd be amazed at how strong these people are yeah you know and even like like she says the person at the gym it ain't really like just even people at the gym they inspire me you know what i mean because yeah. they're in there day in day out working through a hamstring pull working through a bicep tear just you know working through whatever they got going on in life because we all got stuff going on but they're still in there day in day out yeah you know what i mean but that's that's i mean i listen to you know i used to listen to west side barbell podcast lee simmons he passed away but dave tate he's one of the ogs and then you got eddie cohen he's like the goat you know what i mean and uh like i listen to those guys just to get better and whatnot yeah you know, learn more about because i eventually want to coach powerlifting and i eventually want to have you know a training system for castle barbell yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. so that's so that's one thing i'm working with right now but just trying to get it to where i can't do it and be on the boat sure, you know yeah. what i mean because the boat takes a lot of my time 
Yeah. So that's going to be something if I can come off the boat, because that's why my whole goal is to to dedicate my 12 hours a day to the gym or whatever, just to not go get on the boat no more. Right on. You know what I mean? Like, that's the ultimate goal to yeah. where I can be with my wife more. I can be with my kids more. Yeah. And I can, you know, do something that, because they say, if you don't, if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. No, nah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So that's why I, I want to be at the gym just trying to help people get better. Yeah. Know? That's cool, man. Oh, best of luck to that. I say, and then the other top three that I had had is that, like, you're always, you always have these, like, innovative ideas, whether it's yours or hers or whoever it is. Like, you know, uh, what are, like, the top three products or whatever that you guys go to? You know what I mean? I, was like, I know you guys got hats. What are you've, you've, I've been trying to get a hat from you for like for months, right? <laughs> and you're like, bro, like I'm still trying to find the right person right. to do the hats right. and all that and everything like that. And then finally, you know, you, uh, you did you did one. You know what I mean? And, and the quality was on point. These shirts, the qualities are always on point with Absolutely, the shirts. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Um, the hats I use a little company. Like it's a, like a lifetime warranty on our hat with the with the string on yeah, the front. Yeah, uh, that's the one I got. Yeah. So the the Finley hats, the it's a little company, man. They were small, and now they're getting bigger, you know. But you can collab with them. I had sent them a message saying, "Hey, dude, I want to get y'all to do some hats for me. I can't find anybody because my logo has distress in it. Yeah. So you can't embroider it on right. a regular hat. Like I had to do, you know, letters on this one. But they had the leather patch and whatnot. And then it's a lifetime warranty. If your hat gets messed up, you can physically put it in the box and send it to them. And they'll fix it or send you a new hat. Right. And I thought that was awesome because nobody in the nobody I've ever heard of has a lifetime warranty on any hat. Those hats, yeah. You know? Uh -huh. And I'm a big, I like hats. I like shoes. And I like my guns, you know? Mm -hmm. So I had to get my hat collection up because... Yeah. I had to get rid of my other hats. Yeah. You know? I, <laughs> I started over with Castle Barbell right on. and getting my hats going. But as far as um the shirts and stuff, these are the best shirts that we use is like next level or better yeah. canvas. Mm -hmm. But I mean I would love to eventually do my own. Yeah. You know, like have somebody manufacture them right. and whatnot, you know, where I can have like you can tear the tags out of these and stamp Castle Barbell in there if you want. Right. You know what I mean? Because of tearless tag or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there's a couple things I want to do down the road, but I'm just trying to do stuff strategically, you know. And, uh, yeah, well, you don't want too much at one time, man. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? You don't want more than one you can handle. You yeah, know, I think because, I mean, if you get too busy, it's going to take away from other things. So right now, we're just focusing on trying to give the people the best quality at the gym. To uh, you know, that's one thing that people are like, man, this gym's way cleaner than others. I'm like, dude, like I work 12 hours a day. This woman's up in there freaking with her OCDness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she stays on me. Hey, we need to get this done. Hey, we need to get this done. Yes, ma'am. You know, like right on. when I get off for my week, I usually try to give her a little bit of sleep where she can get caught up, and then uh, you know, I'll handle whatever I got to handle. But it's a it, yeah, it's a full time job. You know, it's. It takes a lot of dang time too, especially if you don't have help just yet, you know. Right. So eventually, oh, well, that's another one of our goals too is uh to have the gym with someone there at least twenty hours a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what we want to do is be able to get it to where it's manned, and you know that way you don't have those times to where all the time the gym is fresh. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like yeah, no. even after a busy crowd comes, you know it can be picked up and fresh and and you know at at the the best physical uh appearance possible you know yeah, what i mean yeah but um i mean you got a lot of people coming in there and sweating so yeah it's got to be yeah cleaned right on and yeah. luckily with this with this we can have like we got like 43 parking spaces or something like that yeah so and there's some days when we get like a monday bro mondays are like a hit dude every parking space will almost be full up in there around 5 30 but uh, we don't have, it's really good because we don't have sand or anything around us, you know, like at the other place we, we own, uh, we were a part of. But, uh, yeah, it was always. It was yeah, it's always, all concrete. It was yeah, it's all concrete. Yeah, so yeah. 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 It's, it, it's a nice place, man. It's a nice place. I don't know how you found it because I said, if you're going down, we'll you can't see it. Bro, I had to get a realtor, bro, my buddy. Yeah. Me out. 
I drove my motorcycle like we would go. We spent like right six months to find. We spent probably like a hundred hours in a car, looking like in Tomball in Magnolia, Montgomery, like all over, all over Spring, yeah, Houston. Over here. But I just really wanted to be on the fifty nine corridor. Sure, yeah, you know, because it was close to the house. It's like fourteen minutes away from the house. You know, I can be there. If something pops off, or I need to be, you know, go check on things. We can be there real quick. And this is on my way to work. Yeah. So like I go to the gym, do a workout, clean, do whatever we need to do. And then I leave from there. And I'm 20 minutes from work. Right on. So it's like, but my realtor found it. He went down there the first, I said, Hey dude, help me out, man. Find me a spot. Bro, the first time he drove down there, have you seen this building? I'm like, <laughs> Bro, I've been down there five times. No, I haven't seen the building. You know, <laughs> I'm like, how the hell did you find it? Right. Yeah. I don't know. I was just looking. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, you guys. Uh, all right, so super. So all right, so you guys shouldn't have any excuses. Y'all should be in there to, starting tomorrow. Go today after this. You know, it's like you, they don't even need to be there. They got the QR code on the door. Take eight minutes, ten minutes, or whatever to get signed up. All that stuff was. It's so it's forty three dollars right a month. Like if if you're just yeah a beat off the street, but if you're a veteran. You have a motorcycle's license, a license to carry, a teacher, first a teacher, responder. a first responder. Yeah, yep. they all get the discount too. Yep. So it drops it down. What eleven dollars? Yeah, it right. drops it down to thirty two forty eight. Okay. Then we also have a. Of course, you can pay for six months up front, a year up front, all that stuff. But we also have a twenty dollar child add on. So from eleven to like fifteen, it's twenty bucks add on. And then 16 and 17 would be a, you know, a traditional membership. Okay. Because okay. they can drive and they can go there by their shirt. Sure, right. You know yeah. What I mean? uh -huh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we do have that as well. And then like we, as long as that kid that's 11 and 13 or 13, and 15, 11 to 15, they're going to be accompanied by you. Oh, so they have to be they accompanied, can come. right? Yeah. Yeah, they can come. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And we're pretty cool, dude. We're pretty cool about it. Like, even if like some people talk about, do you have childcare? No, we don't. But if your kid is a well-behaved five-year-old and he's not going to run around and jump on other things, because I don't, I don't want him to get hurt. Right. You know? Yeah. He, you can come. We got a bench in there that's forty foot long. You know what I mean? That people chill on and their kids can watch Netflix or right. do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're we're really open and just holler at us. Holler at a vet. Holler at me. We'll make something happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but both I'm, and you two are on social media and the. The, gym. That's what the gym's on social media as well right. yeah so the gym we we haven't had the, we don't have the website yet because i'm i want to get my friend to do that but we're we're gonna we're gonna get that situated as far as the website but yeah we're on uh facebook yelp google and uh instagram instagram you know that's where we do most of the stuff out on instagram but yeah, if you're curious about Castle Barbell, we have some videos in there. We got a flyover drone footage of the gym. You can check it out. Yeah. You can see all the equipment. And uh, you can come in. Just come in and check it out. You want to look around? We give you a tour. We we pretty much give everyone tours that come in. I, I try to, I, there's, I'm probably, I, I like to think that I'm like one of the most knowledgeable person about every piece of equipment that I have in my gym. You're going to have to be, right? Yeah I, yeah, I can tell you how many millimeter each bar is, how much they weigh, like yeah. everything. You know what I mean? So I, I really love all the equipment I got. If you're an athlete, we have the tools to make you run faster, get stronger, jump higher. I mean, we got hurdles, we got boxes, we got ropes. I mean, it's it's a good spot, man. No, nah, yeah, nah. you, yeah, you don't spot. have to tell me. I've been there, man. It looks nice. It looks good. We got powerlifting. Like if if you need some help, uh, we got trainers. Holler at us. We got somebody who, well, for the ladies, we got somebody who does the meal plans for dudes and chicks. And if you want to prep for a bodybuilding show, we got some people that do that. So we're really trying to take it to the next level, and we want to exist in all spaces fitness. You know yeah. what I mean? Like F, whether it's, I don't, tactical games, <clears throat> like we got stuff to do CrossFit in there, you know, which I don't do CrossFit because I ain't got that much mobility. That's why I powerlift. I just got to do three things. <laughs> <laughs> 
bro. But I, I'm gonna do those three things well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I suggest if anybody who's because powerlifting is growing, and if uh, you are interested in that, like go to a local meet and just check the vibe and check the energy, bro, because it's it's awesome. That's you good. Know, super awesome. Yeah, that's one hundred percent. You guys got a, any meets coming up? Uh, yeah, doing? December third. We got like 10 people from Castle Barbell doing a Bend the Bar. It's going to be in Splendora. Okay. So if y'all can, you know, come out, support, and watch it, you know, it just helps the powerlifting community too. So, you know, help grow it. You never know. I mean, your 13-year-old son might want to be a powerlifter. He could hold Texas State records. Like, we got some guys at the gym that hold Texas State records, you know. Uh, Evie, she's on her way to being a professional yeah freaking elite elite power lifter dude she's freaking strong as shit yeah but, and, well now that i mean they're starting to have that in uh in high schools now yeah like as a as a, actual like uh sport now yeah power well power lifting, lifting, they've had it for a long time but it's like equipped in high school yeah like you're wearing like gear yeah and then you know it got changed to raw and then now it's there's a lot of gear stuff going on but the whole thing is cool because i mean there's records all the way from like junior records like different uh federations have different records you know like yeah. so say you're like it just allows me to be competitive i'm 40 i'm gonna be 41 i'm in a master's class so i'm like 50 pounds away from having a texas state squat record if i can stay healthy and i can get strong i could take that record and my name will be on the website for holding a texas state squat record at 40 years old at 198 pounds you know what i mean right i think that's pretty cool to where you can still compete you know yeah as you get older you know what I mean? But well, like your, uh, your boy Gino or whatever, he's like, he's up there. And he's, he's ranked like four or five or something like that uh, in his class. He's like something. number 11 in the world, actually, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he's – and he just smoked his record. Whenever you talk to him in Vegas, Vegas, he got like 447 or something like that. Well, he just smoked that for a single the other day because he's going back on October 30th to do another meet. So, I mean, I wish I could go to it, but it's in uh, – I think it's in Oklahoma or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to have him on here as well. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we had, yeah we talked pretty good. Like, of course, you imagine, it because he's a big dude, right? Oh, dude. Yeah. And then he had some other dude with him that was probably about maybe equal size, right? And I got my family with him, and he's got his family with him, whatever. And like, we're stopped dead middle in the hallway talking, and like, there's people trying to go trying around. To get around. And I was like, bro, I was like, man, I'll, I'll, I'll holler at you, you know, later. And then I said we caught up at at the uh, the grand opening. A super cool dude. Yeah, yeah. he's pretty cool. Yeah, he helped me with my bench press the other day, man. Yeah. So I mean. He benches over 450 pounds, and he's like, he's like, hey, man, I don't know if you'll take my uh, advice or not. I'm like, bro, you bench a whole lot. Yeah, I'll take from a number 11 deadlift or a uh, bench presser in the world. Am I not going to take some pointers? Hell, yeah, I'm going to take some pointers. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've been showing him my videos. He's like, dude, you're going to bench over what you expect. Because I want 315, but I, he goes, I, I bet you're going to probably be around 321 at the meet. Yeah. Like, bet, I need to do that. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's dope. That's awesome, man. All right, man. Hey, well, I really appreciate you guys coming in, sitting down with me, and all that stuff. Like I said, that's been a long time coming, man. Absolutely, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Nah, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, I said, man, go see these guys. Say so you, you know, uh, they're on Instagram. They're on social media. The they uh, you can get in touch with them through them. Go see them, either one of them or both of them, or at the. You'll see at least one of them at the gym <laughs> yeah. if you show up there. So, uh, you want to give them office hours? Uh, hey, come see them. Well, I'm there Monday through Friday, nine to seven normally, and then on Saturday, nine to three. Okay. And then Sunday is kind of we've been trying to chill, or whatever. Sure. Yeah. But I mean that we you can get in contact with us, you know, through social media or call us, and we'll answer and you know, let you in on a day pass or just whatever. Day passes are $10. Uh, so, I mean, it's still super cheap. Um, I mean, we got hats, hoodies, all that, you know, apparel stuff. When folks come, if they want to show some support and get a shirt or something like that, we got free stickers yeah. on the desk that people can take and put on their, you know, cause some people go to different gyms, so they'll put it on their Yeti or whatnot. But, uh, Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, bro. That's a hit, dude. That's, I'm, yeah, I'm there. I'm there. 
I'm gonna go there today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, my guys. I really, like I said, man, I really appreciate y'all coming through and all that and everything, man. The best of luck to both of you guys. Thank and, you. Uh, I know you guys. I mean, I said they they don't know y'all's backstory, but you know, I, I do, and I don't want to speak on it, or I don't want to bring it up, or whatever. I don't want to. I don't want to give at that any type of notice, but uh, that's it, man. From it's it's inspiring for sure, for sure to see where you guys are now and that's all that and everything. And I will listen. I wish the best of luck to you guys and further endeavors. You guys need anything? Y'all know I'm here for y'all and everything. And uh, I just got a new job and it's right in humble, like 15 minutes from y'all. So yeah. I'll be there in the mornings and stuff, whatever, trying to do something. <clears throat> but uh, create sustainability. That's it, man. That's what it's all about, for sure. All right, man. Well, you, uh, you guys got anything else? No, nah, thank you all for listening. Even thank you even more if you do come by and check out Castle Barbell. Uh, we appreciate it. You know, spread the word. You know, I, I really don't think there's a gym around that's going to have the vibe and stuff that we do. So if you are thinking about working out and you're kind of afraid, we're probably the spot you want to come to because with its culture and community when you walk in Castle Barbo and uh, we'll make you feel right at home. So we appreciate it. Check us out. And uh, thank you. That's awesome, man. Sounds good. Stay solid. <laughs> <laughs> he's, over, he's still, he's still on my lines over here. <laughs> All right, guys, man. So the next time you are, you already know what to do. You guys stay tuned, stay safe, stay solid, stay solid. <laughs> Keep your circle small.